All right, uh, welcome back to the show. P. Bruins forward Craig Weller joining us in studio tonight. Craig is in his first season with the Providence Bruins. A familiar face to PB's fans, spent some uh, time in Hartford. Craig, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, thanks, Patrick. Uh, talk about uh, your season. I mean, you were in uh, Houston in the Minnesota Wild organization, and then all of a sudden, after, what, five games, traded to, to the Boston organization. What's that like? Yeah, it was definitely an uh, interesting first part of the season for me and uh, for my wife. Started out in, in Minnesota, training camp there. Um, had a tough training camp. Had uh, two sets of stitches before the end of oh. training camp. This was a yeah, new one that. here, puck in the face. Um, then I got sent down to Houston, uh, so I had to get traveled to uh, get there. Uh, played a few games up in Winnipeg, oh. and then drove down to, to Houston. And uh, after three days, I was only there for probably uh, two weeks. Got an apartment, got it all furnished oh, and everything, man. and then I got the call that I was traded to the Bruins. So, packed up again, and then we were in the Biltmore Hotel for three weeks. So, it was uh, <laughs> the first month and a half of the season was a lot of hotels and a lot of travel for me. Now, you played some t uh, games in the NHL with Minnesota, and you have also played in the NHL with Phoenix. Were you frustrated when you got traded from Minnesota because you had your chance to play a lot up there in the NHL, thinking, oh, now I got to go to a new organization and kind of start all over again? Yeah, well, uh, it was interesting because we had a new coach, a new GM this off season in, in Minnesota too. So I knew, you know, going in that it was kind of going to be up in the air, and uh, the direction that they took, you know, they they wanted to change the way that they were playing, and they signed some skill guys like Peter Sikora right. and uh, Martin Havlat and, and players of that sort. Uh, which isn't exactly you my... I was going to say, what are you, my, a skill uh, guy? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, they made the decision to send me down. And, you know, in the, the meeting when they told me that, you know, they said they didn't want to try and keep me out of the NHL. That wasn't their intent. And, you know, if they could trade me, they would. And that's, uh, you know, I guess how they ended up trading me to Boston. So, All right. So you've been here in Providence. You guys, uh, there's, I think, 38 games left in the season. You're six points out of the playoffs. It just seems night in and night out, the effort's there. You're just not getting bounces. The results aren't what you're, you know, your hard work's not paying off. Uh, yeah. You're in kind of a must-win situation now, even though there's so much hockey left because of the way your, your division's so tightly bunched. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's uh, six points you right. know, separating probably three, four teams, you know, in the middle to bottom of the division. So every game is, is must win. And like you said, we're in we're in these games and we're just, uh, you know, looking to find that way to, to score a few extra goals that are going to push us over the top. And, you know, I think a big part of that is, uh, you know, getting our special teams up a little bit more. They've kind of been sliding and, you know, that happens. It's it's hard in this league because you're losing guys to, to getting called up to the right. big team and then also injuries too. So we've had quite a few, uh, you know, personnel changes within the team all right so you mentioned you don't consider yourself a skill guy uh you're not afraid to drop the gloves uh you know six four whatever 225 230 at what point in your career did you did you say you know what i'm going to give this fighting thing a try and do you enjoy it i always ask the the tough guys if they enjoy it because it's not exactly the easiest way to make a living yeah i don't really enjoy it no i mean i uh i'm comfortable with it i know it's part of the game and you know, I'm not afraid to do it, but I, you know, it's not something that I, I love doing. I, there, there definitely are guys in the lead that, you know, really love it, and that's what they are just want to go out and do. And, you know, throughout my career, I've been sort of a, a hardworking physical player, you know, and try and, um, you know, just help with team momentum and, uh, you know, energy sort of a player. Uh, final question. You played in Hartford for a couple of years. How weird was it putting on that uniform after one of the beat the you-know-what out of these guys yeah. every time you saw them. Well, it was definitely interesting because, like you said, I, and, you know, when I came here, I started thinking back to the number of times, and I'd probably played them 30 times right. over the years with playoffs and everything, and then I started looking at the fights, and I, <laughs> they, I probably had about 10 fights against them. You know, being on the other side of it, it's been good. Great uh, fan support here. They have the Dunkin' Donuts Center revamped, and uh, it's a great place to watch a hockey game. So looking forward to a strong push here for the end of the season. All right, uh, the P Bruins play at home on Friday night, tomorrow night, and on Sunday afternoon. Go check them out. You can check them out on Facebook as well. Craig Weller, thank you so much. Thank you. Great to meet you, and uh, go check out the Baby Bees this weekend. More of the sports wrap in 90s.